The world is facing unprecedented threats with regards to transnational organized crime, terrorism, uh, and uh, of course cybercrime, which is a borderless crime by nature. So these issues are more complex and more international than ever. We see, for instance, uh, organized crime groups uh, really acting uh, on a transcontinental level uh, in conducting their criminal activity in terms of money laundering activities. We see terrorist groups being in contact with each other uh, also across the continents. We see a lot of terrorists traveling um, and, and using um, commodities like illegal uh, firearms trafficking um, to conduct their, their terrorist activities. And of course, cybercrime is one of the, the challenges uh, international societies in a hyper-connected world will create a, a challenge for law, for law enforcement globally. So we have to build strong uh, networks of cooperation uh, against the networks of terrorism and organized crime and cybercrime. And this is exactly what the cooperation uh, with UNODC, the UN Office for Organized Crime and, and Drug Crime, is, is about. Uh, we have started a very successfully joint projects, um, for instance, uh, in helping our member countries to build the capacity, the capabilities and the training uh, the officers and the agencies need to tackle this kind of international crime. Um, and uh, we have our meeting here in Lyon today to strengthen that partnership, to talk about already existing projects, but also even more to strive for synergies in the future, uh, to build a complementary architecture of security. And again, UNODC and Interpol have very practical examples how we can strengthen the support for our member countries.